Local US media is reporting that seven people have been killed after a car ran into pedestrians in the city of Brownsville in Texas. A male suspect is in custody. The city's police department said the crash occurred at 8.30 a.m. local time near Osnum Shelter. Osnum Centre, sorry, a shelter for migrants and the homeless. Well, our correspondent Duncan Kennedy is in our newsroom with more. And Duncan, I know that uh, details are limited, so what more can you tell us? Well, first of all, we know that it's the second most shocking incident in Texas in the space of less than 24 hours, coming as it does the day after the shooting incidents in Dallas, which is about 500 miles north of Brownsville. Brownsville itself is a city right down on the Mexican border. And we know that it did happen at 8.30 local time, Texas time, on Sunday morning. And as you said, seven people were killed in this incident. What we don't know yet is exactly what happened. What we know is it happened outside this centre here, on, to, my, to my right here, a place called the Osnum Centre, which is a home for migrants and homeless people. Now, there's a couple of roads running alongside this centre. This one you can see here is the dual carriageway. A bit further on on the right, there's a single carriageway lane. We don't know which side of the building, which side of this centre the incident happened, but it appears that those people were standing at a bus stop waiting for a bus, and this car came and there was some kind of collision. Now, the Brownsville police aren't saying what kind of collision it was. Uh, we know it was a car, but we don't know which direction it came from or what speed it was doing. But seven people killed, six others were injured, and some of those are seriously injured and are now in hospital. All Brownsville police are saying is that a man, we know it was a male driver, is in hospital as well. He's under 24-hour guard. And he's also being tested for uh, alcohol and drug use. But that is standard procedure for police in America. They're not speculating at all on whether this was a simple accident or there was something more sinister to this incident. But an extremely high death incident, death rate, to result from this collision. Seven dead, six more injured, as I say, coming less than 24 hours after the shooting in the mile, 500 miles north in Dallas, where another eight people died. Certainly a shocking 24 hours for the people of Texas and the people of the United States. Duncan, thank you very much for that update. Duncan Kennedy there reporting from our newsroom.